Hi everyone, Kathy Beltron with Sacred Dance with Trans. I'm super excited to again have Isabel Duchenne, trans medium from Belgium, with us here a second time. Uh, I had a lot of requests from people wanting her to come back on and be interviewed, and I typically sometimes do part two interviews. So here it is. Everybody, welcome Isabel. Hello, a very good <laughs> afternoon. It's evening here in Belgium, and I hope you're having all a good time and uh, not too cold because we're getting impending winter time over here and i'm super pleased that people requested so many requests oh my regarding God. The oh, I'm so, I'm so and everything so and um i know people love it to learn and i'm happy to teach a few things to help you in your own development uh, as a power to be there for you um to give some flesh to people's bones to help people out with their impending development, just advice. So let's talk about a few things that people have been asking about, about circles, about things and how to do things. So, oh yeah, yes, I'm, I'm, happy. Happy. I'm very happy, Katty. Oh no, I'm so grateful to you to come on here again. Uh, and yes, people have been asking questions and have been, um, and then we're also taking stuff from the groups because um, there's some questions out there, um, more clarification. So I figure what we would start out with was um, the clarification or the understanding of the difference between mental mediumship, trance, physical, and take it away, Isabel. Yes. <laughs> I will say in mediumship, we have a four-legged horse. I can compare it with the horse. We got mental mediumship, trans, he, um, physical mediumship, and healing. To, to stress out every form of mediumship is healing. Because we are helping people out and in a greater understanding to bring possibilities to change energy into a language that people can understand and help. And for those who grieving, helping to understand there's a higher awareness to open people's brain to for the possibilities. So the eldest form of mediumship was physical mediumship. And if you could say physical mediumship is what the word said physical is everybody could see it, everybody could sense it, everybody could hear it. That is visible for everybody in the room. It means that a medium was the battery for supernatural phenomena as apparitions, floating tables, um, ectoplasm um, that your loved ones appear to you and you can hug them and give give uh, talk to them and this is completely done in a blacked out room with red light regarding to do with ectoplasm and is the first the eldest form of mediumship and um, remind me later I talk about the link with apparitions in uh, history uh, that has to do with this form of mediumship but um, because it's very rare that people do this these days there are a few mediums who can produce enough ectoplasm in their own bodies to recreate the energy that the spirit world show themselves of because it's not only the medium has to be ready but you need sitters you need the right environment you need the right goal you need the right energy now from um, the medium, the medium is in a deep trance with physical mediumship and is not aware what's going on. And it is the form, the eldest form of working and joining that the spirit world has completely control over the medium. And it's like you are in a kind of knockdown state. And um, it's the purest form, in my view, and also super healing because healing take place people see their loved ones they are take up taken with fear of death and everything so it's completely covered up thing in completely oneness with the spirit world i would say i would like to stress out nothing uh, is better than something else physical is not better than trance trance is not better than mental mental is not better than healing um it is everything is one 
You can't have one with, with, without the other. And the, the most popular of the four is mental mediumship. You could say mental mediumship is that people hear the spirit world and like a parrot, this, it tells, people tell things. What they hear from the spirit world, the spirit world comes in your aura, and the medium translates the energy into a language we can all understand and again reconstruct the person who is there. So I got your grandmother here, she was seven foot five, and she had gray hair, and she had blue eyes, and her name is Berta, and blah, blah, blah. And the reason why she's here is this, and this is the message. The, the, the task of the medium is reconstruct those who passed away to give proof there is a higher life, there is no death, in the, only in the physical form, and then your loved ones are always near, and give clairvoyantly through the mind, because it's mental state, through the mind, the spirit penetrates your mind, you pick up images, words, and give the message like this. And the, the most form, and all the people in America who went to a public medium, a television medium, James from Prague, like uh, uh, the famous medium um, that's been on TV, that's the mental medium, is the most accepted form of mediumship. Now, that's the basic one. Um, it's nothing to do with, with um, psychics, reading tarot cards, uh, tea leaf reading, um, and doing fortune telling. That's always all the tools that can help you with your clairvoyance. It can help you with your clairsentience and your gifts. But a medium is a person who is able to, without any tools, tell you who are there. Because a lot of people say, I need to have a token or something. I need to have a picture of a loved one to, to, uh, to, as a tool to um, sense the energy. That's psychometry. Psychometry is nothing wrong with that. Analyze pictures. I can have um, a bottle of water and I hold this for, it's okay, I feel this and this and this. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not mediumship. People think you need a picture or you need something to tune into um, that's psychic and there's nothing wrong with psychics every medium is psychic but not every psychic is medium because there's nothing wrong with mental mediumship as such if a person can say your grandmother is there they have to be proof of existence they have to tell them how did she die what are the shared memories that the sitter has with the, with the, with the person in the spirit world proper proof that they actually are there. And if you're working with a picture, you could say your grandmother has brown hair. You could look at the picture, yes, you got brown hair, you can see it on the picture. It doesn't mean she's present in the room on that precise moment. You understand? Yeah, mental mediumship is the most accepted form uh, of pure mediumship, like Esther Roberts did some amazing, um, demonstrations of mediumship in Royal Albert Hall in London, about about five or seven thousand people in 1938. In, and there's amazing healing presence there as well, because due your mediumship, you give people, you heal people, you, t you talk to people, and people feel relieved afterwards. It's a form of healing. And again, this is also, we gave in the spirit world, gives philosophy. They give knowledge, they give everything, they, they, they share their wisdom, they share their love, they're coming with a reason, they're coming to uplift you and to help human, humankind to aware their mind and open up for higher knowledge. Transmediumship is a beautiful form of letting spirit work with you, that you are more open to the spirit world, that your own mind is not um, in between anymore, just like you're going in an alpha state, the spirit world penetrates your energy field and use your vocal cords um, and interact with you in a, a lovely, balancing way, right? When mental mediumship, the spirit world is not overshadowing you, is not working through you, like using your vocal cords. You just, you say, you read more, say hello, I say, I hear hello. You just repeat what you hear. Trance is a deeper state of mind. You go in the alpha state, 
you know, and this other way of consciousness and the spirit world takes over the energy. You're not going into out of your body, into your body, like people think there's like in the film of ghosts in with Hooper Goldberg, they get, flip in, flip out. The spirit world knows who you are and, and penetrates your energy field and overshadows you and your face can change, your voice can change. But first of all, I would love to stress out before you do this, know who your guides are. You're not the bus of strum with spirit. <laughs> first, for, first and foremost, sit in the power, sit, 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 and work on your home circle. I talk about it later. Very important. Know who's working with you. You are not a tram or bus for spirit. You're not a train station that spirit can use because people need to be on stand. That there's a lot of people want to sit down and say, oh, I got the channeling things. I channel this one. I channel. And you always have to figure out what is saying, what's been said. It's your responsibility. People have to take responsibility. You're not. It's not a game. Healing mediumship is a, is, it's also a form of pure love and um, hands-on healing. People do healing like Reiki and people do healing, hands-on healing. People who are in a church doing healing um, with their hands and uh, that's a beautiful thing to do. The energy comes from the spirit world, is trailing through you and the, the energy of the spirit is there for you, you know? So you, you don't give your own energy. Yeah, a good example, Jesus Christ uh, was an amazing medium. He was a healing, he was a trans. He was an amazing example of all the, the biggest medium in my eyes has been on earth, but also to do with healing powers, else to do with you connecting with the spirit was so deep that you say, okay, with my, do, through your words, you are healed because your faith healed the patients because you don't have to touch it just like a prayer. Good intentions give results and, it, and your faith has healed your, your servant. So it's also to do with amazing possibilities. Healing takes place in every form that people come together in harmony and respect each other. And that's the thing the fourth, for me, the four forms of mediumship are one. I, for myself, I didn't want to be trans medium. I want, I'm a control freak. And uh, spirit world said, okay, the best thing to lose your control is that we knock you down and you have nothing to say anymore. <laughs> so it took me f five or six years to understand this process because it's a whole process. And after now 25 years of sitting, it's not finished. Until you go to spirit world and even after you go home, you keep learning. You keep learning. So there is no, what could I say? There is no, I know it all attitude anymore. The spirit world is in power and listen to your guides. They know all. We are humans are so limited in our knowledge. And they know what's best for you. They know what's good for you. First and foremost, sit and meditate and just surrender and don't compare what's happening with them. Excuse me. Yes, people, that's always compa people always say, oh my God, the, this person is better than me and oh my God, and how long are you sitting? And oh, what? But it's, not a, it's, not a, it's not a kind of game. The spirit world knows what, you, what are your intention is, they know how your body is, they know how your weakness, your strengths, you know, your situation, are you, are you married, are you sitting on your own, are you sitting with a group, sitting outside, in the garden, out in the garden, in a shed, in the dark, in the light. They know anything. They know your, when your intention is there. I said harmony, love, trust, and patience are the four legs of a spiritual horse. And if there is no harmony, you can sit for hours and hours it's a big disgrace for the spiritual and a big disgrace for you because you're losing simply your time. Mm. Harmony is also personal responsibility. If you deal with stuff that you've not dealt with before, uh, emotional stuff or relationship problems or fight with your mother or fight with your boss, deal it with first that you feel at peace. 
because stress doesn't help anything. It's a blockage. Negativity, spirit world cannot have negativity. If you feel down or you feel sick or you have the flu, don't sit. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree with you on that. Absolutely. Yeah, it's just like you need to figure it out. The spirit world knows that you have a physical life as well. You have a relationship. You have to go places, move, do things and work and whatever. But I talked in the previous interview as well about discipline, that you have a perfect place sitting on the same day every week, on the same hour. Discipline, that is very necessary for a good a good. Um, that's called um, progress of your own development. Because for me, the, the difference of mental trance, physical, uh, physical mediumship is the most amazing because people see things, but it's very, very, very rare because it involves ectoplasm, involves discipline, and you can't do it on your own. You need to sit for physical with the group. Um, people have to sit for you. You have a proper dark room, especially when you want to have ectoplasm uh, and you have the ability to produce ectoplasm, you need to know what's going on. Because it's a very um, beautiful thing, but it, it, it takes a lot from the people, also from the sitters. So in that, when um, somebody's sitting for physical, um, some people have mentioned that they felt like they were tired um, like the, the sitters that were sitting there, that they uh, question if they're being used as a battery because they yeah. just don't. Yeah, but you, you, all, you always are. A battery. It is, in a circle, everybody is equal. It's like, I, I want to be the medium and you just the sitters. Forget it. We are all one circle. It's just a holy patrimony. It's a holy thing to come together like like the medicine wheel in the Native American culture. It is to do with we are one for the spirit world. And as well for the sitters, people have to train how to sit. Sitters need a course to how to sit for spirit. That's true. It is very They need true. to understand it's just like okay, it's not a coffee break thing. People want to sit for meditation because oh this is the only opportunity I can meditate. People come for one hour meditation and they look after when it's going, going to have tea and biscuits. <laughs> it's not about the tea and the biscuits. It's about you. It's about your link with the spirit world. And you have to understand um, discipline is necessary. A lot of people sit for physical and the first 10 years, nothing or very le uh, low um, results. But they're sitting... I would say every Monday at 10 in the evening for two hours, for years and years and years. So the same people. That's discipline. Yes. I have been to a beautiful seance from Stuart Alexander, the gentleman lives in England. He has been sitting for 50 years. Wow. He's 70 years old nearly. I think so, if I'm correct. But he's such genuine... Um, beautiful lovely warm-hearted man and he says the home circle is the energy and the engine of your movement that's important forget the churches churches are nice and it's all modern stuff but your own development begins at your home because in the old days in the 19th century there were no churches people sat together in unity because that's how the circles began and the seances in, the, in, the, in your own living room. In the darkness, if you can sit in the darkness, is helping you to move inwards. Yeah, you don't have to sit for physical if you're on your own. Sitting is basically first and foremost to connect with your guides and helpers. That's the first thing you need to do. Who is my guide? Who is my helper? You can sit in the living room in full light. It's not a problem. First things first. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't know who's with you, who's helping you, then you start to have your own mind making it up or you fantasizing things. And you need to have proper proof that you are not making it up. So first things first is just say, all right, here I am. And be patient. Be patient, yes. 
we were talking earlier um, before we hit record and we were talking about sitting in the power and how um, you might feel like you can't move. Or am I doing, am I saying this right? I remember. Yes. Yeah, the spirit world is, is helping people to understand while, while you're sitting for the spirit, you make time for them. The spirit world is a reality. People have to understand your guides, your helpers are real people. They have an agenda, they have a timing, they have their own task up there. They are real people making time for you. And if you're sitting in a circle, or you're sitting on your own, or you're sitting with a friend, they're sitting there as well for you. In the spirit, there's a circle, there's a spirit in your living room, just like uh, as above as below. And they're creating a field of energy in which they can move along. They create an energy field around your chair to change the molecules in the room, that healing taking place. And they're working with your aura, they're working with your chakras, they're working with your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies, and it gives the impression that you're glued to a chair. You're just like, oh my God, I can't move anymore. It's just like you're paralyzed. There's nothing wrong, you've not been tied down, or there is no, there is no um, stroke or whatever. Some people feel coldness, some people feel a wind draft around them. Some people smell things. Some people see light flashes. Some people see absolutely nothing. It depends how sensitive you are. And nothing helps doesn't mean, uh, if nothing happening doesn't mean there's nothing there. Because, oh, no, I've got nothing. I've sensed nothing. There's nothing. It doesn't mean you're not there. Patience is a virtue. Yeah, and it doesn't have to, it's like, it, you, you don't have to be glued in your chair. It's not an insi in, insistence um, phenomena, but it happens. It, certainly, they're working on, you, on your spine. They're working on your neck. If they're wanting to heal you or do proper healing in your, in, more, in your system, then you have the feeling that you lay down in a kind of... Um, blocked way the same thing as you get going in some people have while they're having a, a bath they have a relaxing and they're having a bath or just going to bed laying in, in bed and they just feel oh my god i feel i feel completely paralyzed because the spirit takes the opportunity when you watch her rushing around and doing your groceries going to the shop whatever they you they can't help you because you're too, too busy when the spirit is working with me, when I'm sitting in the train, when I'm having a bath, when I'm looking at the movies, when I go to the theater, the spirit world is always there. So, ah, Isabel is sitting still, now we get her. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, so every time now it's just like, okay, these days I can't go to the movies anymore, but as soon as love goes out, I want to see a movie, the spirit is there, and I hear whispers like, listen, I didn't pay $10 for to see this movie, so bugger off. So, uh, sorry to say that a bit oh, no. slang, but it, it's just like, okay, guys, you have to be strict in this. It's not because you're sitting and having a good evening that spirit has to be there for you. That's why you need to have a deal with your, with your guides. You have a proper life as well. Oh, yeah. It's and like people, balance, balancing all areas of your life. You know, people, have, oh, people think you have to be open for spirit 24 a day. Forget it. No, it's not good. You have a proper life as well. And... Um, that's because if you're too open for spirit, then it's not good for your physical body as well. So sometimes you have to have a break. It's fine. It's healthy. And, and the spirit is working backstage. While you're not aware of it, they never left you. They're gonna, not, never going to leave you, but just have a break for a few days. Doesn't mean that you don't sit, but don't feel... It's not an addiction. People are addicted to sit. Oh, I have to sit, 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 sit. Your development doesn't go quicker with this. It's like you're drinking a whole bottle of water, then you have to drink more, drink, drink, drink. It, your body has to adapt with the energies. And if it's, when the bottle is full, it's full. You have to get it done properly. You know, I wanted to, uh, I think I forgot to mention this. I, I, I touched up a little bit on it, but so this is Isabel's second part two interview. The first one, she shares so much. So if you haven't checked that out, please do so. Um, 
we are, again, I'm just super excited. Everything you're talking about, the reason why we're doing this again is because so many members are, you know, posting in the groups, different groups, or sending me messages. And I think this clarification is wonderful, how you're uh, talking a lot about the circle and sitting. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I understand my explanation is a quick one between mental, trans, physical, and healing. I don't want to be disrespectful. I can talk about anything more than five, six hours. But I said it's like um, a, a physical mediumship. Uh, David Thompson is an is amazing physical medium from Australia and he lives now in New Zealand. And he used to, um, Kai Muga that he had a beautiful interview with is an amazing friend of mine and he's a great physical medium. Scott Milligan is an amazing physical medium. There are, there are people and there are more people interested now Physical mediumship has never been gone, but the society has changed. You have to remember in the 19th century, beginning 20th century, there was no radio waves, Wi-Fi, uh, internet, all these uh, extra power, invisible electricity things were also interfering in energy around and the society has changed so much. And the need is also there after between the wars. How is my, my father still alive? Is my brother still alive? This, this, there was more higher needs to, be, to, to give um, uh, proof that death is not the end. And I say in every society, there is periods of peace and periods of war. And we don't need war for proof of existence. But I would say the spirit world is always there and always been there. And I asked my guide, Red Clouds, what, why is it that the spirit world cannot produce much more physical mediums nowadays? And his gentle said, it's not us, it's you. It be, because people don't have the serpent anymore. People think, okay, it's a game, and mediumship is not a game. It's not an entertainment purposes only. They go to see a magic show. They go to Las Vegas. And a lot of people think, oh, it's not possible. That when you're dead, you're dead, period. No, if you, if you need, you have to be open that energy is just changing form. Just like the quantum physics says, Einstein proves that we are all energy and energy cannot die. So we're just changing form. But if you're afraid of sitting in the pitch black dog, you, you have to deal that with yourself first because energy is very seen that ectoplasm cannot be dealt with in uh, full light. Um, in the beginning, I would say the spirit world is also helping and getting more modern, but first and foremost, the basic, and it's been for 150 years, start in the dark and go to the light slowly. Because ectoplasm breaks down in, in white, white light. It's the same as um, developing your pictures, your photography way, when you do photographs and you're developing in a red, in a red condition, red light condition, um, then you develop your new film and your film is gone if you have overlighted your film taking it. So, you know, it's the same condition. You know, I wanted to bring up also um, your photographs, the, your photos of uh, you catching the spirit guides or the controls yes. coming through. Are you, st are you planning on doing a website just strictly for all your... Here. Yes, I have. If, if people look on my website, um, there, is a, there is a page for pictures. Um, you can see the pictures, you can click on it and you can see them. Um, oh, definitely check it out guys. Cause it's amazing photos. Yes. Amazing. The spirit world, the spirit world show themselves if they please. I cannot, it's always an experiment. Yes. I cannot guarantee anything. And uh, it depends as, as well. It's a form of physical mediumship in a new form. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't say I'm a physical medium because I don't sit in the ectoplasm, but I would say, is the energy is there and um, the spirit world is working and I'm still learning just like you all. I'm just normal Isabel, I'm 44 years old and I'm just not saying I know it all. I, can mis I make mistakes, I do deft things just as anybody else. Some, sometimes it doesn't work at all. But it's just an experiment and 
I learned from my colleagues, and that's why I always say, don't compare with yourself, with other people. Don't compare, because there's a lot on Facebook, there's a lot on, I don't like the word jealousy, um, but I would say, you are not them, and them are not you. See your own beauty, be you. And you know what, I think that's very important because even in the group, uh, my group, other groups that I admin in, um, to me, I want it to be a safe place, a safe place for people that are just learning. And yes. even, you know, I have, I have you um, posting, sharing information from your, your guide, uh, Red Cloud. So many other people I have them sharing because, uh, but I, I do want it to be safe. I don't want, you know, if somebody asks a question, or you know shares an experience you know it's not going to be a place where people say oh no that can't happen you know it's just an uplifting time to yes uh, you know, it's, we can learn from each other it's always to have respect for each other if you don't understand a lot of say ask it yes instead of presuming i don't know ask it if you don't understand something text us let us know because that also there's a cause and effect in this and I would say some things are there for you to think about. Oh, this is new for me. I haven't dealt with this yet. I can't believe it. Oh, my God, I have to see this. And, of course, there are a lot of people who, unfortunately, wants to feed their ego or wants to do it for fame. And that's not the right reasons. Oh, yeah. And if you say, if you want to be genuine, you're in, in the spirit world sees your intention. Oh, yeah. And, in the, and if you are in any form of trickery, or want to, to develop quicker than you wish, or, you're, or you want to fear not to be seen, and you want to do something that's not nice, the spirit world sees, and you got to, to give the record for this. So... Be, always stay honest with yourself. That's people, you cannot hide for spirit. Yes. No, it's, in, in the past, there have always been triggers. There have always been people who have been doing um, fraudulent stuff. And it's good to be critical because he keeps you alert. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to push everything over the edge and compare everything with, oh, this, that, that, that cannot be possible. Don't compare. You is you and somebody else is somebody else. See the circumstances. Always be honest. And if you don't afraid, to, don't be afraid to ask. Yeah. I'm not biting. I just normal. I want to learn. If I want to learn from you, oh my God, what is this? Explain. Oh, no, it's absolutely true. Because when I first started, even with the interviews, I didn't know what I was talking about. I didn't know everything. And so I've had members help me with, even formulating the questions and then but the, you know the, they had to help me understand all the different terms because i'd ask somebody one thing and obviously i probably didn't sound like i knew what i was talking about but i was still learning and so that's the beautiful part with all the the members is you can ask questions and yes. there, if, you know definitely not always going to be me but a lot of the members come in and just share their knowledge and their understanding and they, they're very quick to say this is my understanding so it's it's not set in stone but that's what i believe and what i feel so that's what i love i love how um members come and do that yes but i wanted to bring up we talked about phenomena and what you might uh experience wrappings and things like that. yes it, it depends. Wrappings and knockings are also a form of physical mediumship. The spirit is physical presence and they give their presence known as sounds in the room. Um, the first phenomenon that people might have if they're sitting is the temperature drop. Or just to, to feel the, the energy around the chair is changing, the molecules in the room are changing. You feel, some, oh my God, there is something secret here. You can't touch it, they're just knowing, and your hair, you got goosebumps, and your hair on your arm gets right, oh my God, I feel tickling in my neck, or you feel being seen, or say, oh my God, there is something here. There's nothing wrong, ladies and gentlemen, it's just about what you want to do with this. It's just like, okay, let it happen. Yeah, and um, you don't have to push things through. People think you have to sit in the dark, which is not true. 
you can only sit in the dock for physical mediumship. And um, that's the only reason, with the circle, with a group of people, with, um, with um, development of direct voice or physical phenomena, then you have to have to, the proper way is the old fashioned way, the 19th century, Victorian mediumship has been the proper way and it's been seen for 150 years and it does work. So I'm a very admirer of the classical, what change, don't change what works. Yeah. Yes, but um, phenomena can be have been done in, in daylight. Some people do table tilting. Mm -hmm. Some people do Ouija board. Some people feel they sit in just living room conditions with a little light and they have phenomena. It, it doesn't matter. It's just the intention is there. You say, if you say, I am in love, then there is no hate. Mm -hmm. And people ask, oh, I have to ask protection. If, you're, if you are afraid of any thing that might happen to you then you are not aware that you are sending out your own fears and what you send out come back to you if your intention is love your vibration is love you are a walking radio station and all the spirits that on your own vibration will enter the room wow yeah i i believe that it's beautiful. Yeah, people are so afraid because they're so penetrated with old-fashioned thoughts about religion and about dogma and rules. And the spirit world doesn't like to be seen as a holy thing. Mm -hmm. They are our friends. Your loved ones are your friends. You don't have to be scared for your mother. You don't have to be scared for grandfather or sister or brother or spouse or anyone or your Native American Indian guy, they know who you are. They know you better than who you are. You know, of course, if you are afraid of something happening to you because you think, oh my God, I need proof. And suddenly everything is floating around in your living room. To see this for the first time can be a huge shock because it, it push you out of your comfort zone. Oh yes, yes, I know that. <laughs> Yes, mm -hmm. and, and, that it, and people think, oh my God, my horse is haunted, and now I get rid of it. <laughs> All that ghost has to go. Mm -hmm. Yes, my dear, I, I can always say to the people there, there is no such thing as lower spirits. It's only a way of fear. Mm -hmm. There are energies who wants to, wants to come say hello because they want to be seen, just like a kid in the grocery store wanting... A candy and you, and the mother say no and you jump on the on, on the lower ground and wanting getting attention. There are spirits who passed away who want to say hello and they have a big ego and they're smashing things around and just you have to deal with them with a lot of love. Because there is there is there is no higher power than love. Yeah. Like I gotta say there is there are spirits with attitude, yes. Spirits with attitude. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But you say, okay, what's, what's the deal? What's the problem? Always say, okay, what's the deal? What did we do? Yeah, That's yeah. why you have to be very in harmony with yourself and also what's the purpose of your group? What's the purpose of the evening? Why are you here? What's the bright intentions? Why are you here? It's not an evening of Harry Potter uh, flying around stuff. It's not a boogity woogity Halloween evening. People have to understand it's about love. Yeah. And if you have a trace of superstitions in your mind, read about physical mediumship, read about proper spiritualism before you can enter a seance room that you push aside all these narrow mind thoughts about not understanding things. If people understand things better, then they change their mind into knowing. I don't believe in spirit. I know they are. Believing is for not for those who do not know yet. And I don't want to prove anything. I just like I, I share information. I'm there to give information and people are free to accept it, yes or no. So I would say if you're sitting in a circle, if you're sitting in a prayer group or a healing group, put your priorities first is spend time and, and talk. Mm -hmm. Talk with the same people, go out with the same people. First, we say, okay, I have a circle with a few people, want to sit every Tuesday, I give an example. 
the first thing I said to people, okay, spend a week together. At least go camping, go shopping together, get to know each other. At least for knowing things and now who they are. Talk your things out. I said, because that, that's a discipline thing. Because if you feel the energy is not right, it will not help. And it's better to have two, two persons in harmony than five in disharmony. You know, I'm going to bring up something. So um, with the first interview, I actually had, I was so honored to be able to have and have a reading with Isabel's guide, Red Cloud. And I will tell you that during that time in my own circle, um, the guidance that came through um, was amazing. Just the, the guidance from my circle alone. And after that, and, and listening to the guidance, um, everything has worked out. I mean, the members of my own circle are, the energy is beautiful. Um, but I, you know, I won't ever stop talking about that, Isabel, because that I still, remember, right. I still remember that first time when I was like, oh my God, the energy was like, boom, you know, uh, it was a beautiful reading. And mm. um, yeah, so, but the guidance, the guidance that came through, it was, Everything that was, that was said, I completely understood. And anything that I received, I followed through on it. And I will tell you, um, I mean, I won't go into details, but I just know that I am in such a better place after having that city. And The spirit is always there. And I would say Red Cloud is an amazing teacher. He's a very beautiful gentleman. He had many lives on earth. And his latest life was a Native American chief, but he had also been an Egyptian when he was a pharaoh in Egyptian five, six thousand years ago. And he is a very master and he helps a lot of people. I'm saying it's not my guide, no, he helps a lot. And if you ask him, he will come. Mm -hmm. And he yes. Did. He came, <laughs> you know, but I do want to bring up the website. So Isabel, can you tell your website as well? Yes, my website is www.isabelduchene.com. Just I-S-A-B-E-L-L-E-D-U-C-H-E-N-E.com. Yes, and if you are lucky, I know that you do readings there. You offer readings. Yes, I do readings on Skype. I, I can't do trans on Skype because that's what I'd say I don't like to do. I don't understand people uh, with the new energy doing this with Skype readings. Um, I can sense my guides this way as well, but there's a form of, of healing people and doing Skype sittings with trans mediumship. It's a very funny thing to do. People sit, see you sitting with your eyes closed and channeling things. Channeling is not trans. Mm -hmm. And with all respect for everybody else, but I've seen so much things on the, over the internet, which is not um, covering the real thing. And people can be misled, and it, it, it disgraces the, the beauty of sitting in harmony in the right conditions. I would say, first things first, get to know who's working with you. Okay. Yeah. That's very important. I, I, this might stress out that people have to understand um, I wanting to help a lot of people. That's why I'm trying to figure it out. I just talked about uh, with Cathy about uh, next week on the 7th of December, I'm doing a live question and answer setting for people regarding their spiritual uh, development, um, what they can do or they have proper questions, not about fortune telling, not about who's going next in my life and when is it gonna have my car and no, no readings, no private settings, but just to say, regarding your own development and other thing to do with mediumship in general uh, about photography about trans mental mediumship sitting in the power um, circle work is very important and also before we end don't be afraid to say no if you have people in the circle and the energy doesn't fit i'm sorry you're not uh, fitting in our group be honest because people want to be along people want to be joined and they think it's an entertainment evening and if they're sitting on the chair and looking up and singing or just we hovering around in their mind is not an, ad, an, an adding to your group 
With all respect for the people who are there, but you need to find figuring out first and foremost, the circle leader has to understand the disi discipline of your group. And you know what? That's rules and regulations, and also if it's in somebody's home, the owner of the home always have the right to figuring out who allow access to their house. Because people just seeing, oh my God, it's a weekly thing. Oh, yes, I can come Monday. Next week I can't make it. Next week I can't make it again. No, it just discipline is not the game. I understand if you're ill or is seriously something going on. Fair enough. But in the old days, if you can't make it twice, then you're out. You're out. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's it, it's because people have to take responsibility, and also if they, it's not for their own time, but also time for spirit. You have to understand if we're sitting in a circle, the spirit is sitting in a circle as well. Yeah. And I you don't have to sit in a cabinet. You don't have to sit in just sit in just at the beginning in normal living conditions normal living room you don't have to beat in the dark because a lot of, that's not a problem what people have to black down a room properly it's a lot of work if if you don't have a room without no windows how to black out the house is it's it's a lot of work but if you don't want to develop physical mediumship it doesn't make sense Wow. You know what? Actually, I remember Joe Bradley talking in her interview and, you know, when she started her circle, I think she had, I, I, I'm hoping I am connecting this information to the right person. Um, I think it was like she had a best friend that was a part of her circle. And then in the end, she had to um, disconnect just from the circle because, you know, so that's why it's so important to, to have the, um, to be there for the right reasons to uh and then to like you said the dedication be there be present you make that appointment with spirit be there be um, on time as well and, and then especially if you have to you know be a tough circle leader and um you know talk with another member that mean it may not be the right time for that person or the right circle and that's okay but you know once you get through those those members um and find that one groove, that, that group of people that's just like perfect with each other. It's, it's great. I'm telling you, it's wonderful. And I would also suggest to have a little pot there that everybody can give a little contribution on a finance thing. Um, because people say, okay, I don't charge for circle, but I would sort of say, okay, my heating is running and um, people make coffee and tea afterwards. And, if you say, okay, if everybody or somebody brings uh, some cake, you got to bring something afterwards. Also, adding to the circle is nice. You don't have to pay, but have respect for people's time, have respect for people's energy because you're welcome in somebody's home and the heating is there, electricity needs to be paid as well. So I would say if you contribute for $5 or $2, something uh, on the end, you have a little pot and you make a little thing. That's always nice to cover the costs. But it's a, it's a contribution that people have to talk with themselves. Okay, what was the rules? What feels best for you? Mm -hmm. Because the, the spirit times cannot be dealt with money because you sit in for your own every time is a human thing. And uh, okay, of course, you, you sit for your, for your development as well, so you have benefit from it as well. And a lot of people doesn't agree with me that, oh, yeah, you have to be paid and paid and paid and paid. Sir, home circles free of charge because the, then people are more available to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I think that's a great idea. And I want to talk again about this going live. So I think that's going to be... Uh, December 7th. I think that is next Thursday. Is it th yeah, Thursday around three o'clock? Right? Yes. You're in American time. American time. Eastern time. And so Isabel will probably be going live in the group. And, um, you know, of course, you know, we'll do some pre posts about it to remind people and, and create an event. But you can come in and ask her questions about being developing. Um, yes. and just, yeah. And so that's going to be a wonderful thing. And I do encourage that to, you know, especially like uh, all the interviewees that I've, I've spoke with can come in and do live 
anytime they want, <laughs> you know, but I think it's beautiful. And I thank you so much for doing this. And you are such a giver of your time. You're sharing your knowledge and understanding and you're very uplifting, always yes. uplifting, you know? So, uh, but I do want everybody, please don't forget, check out the first interview. So much information is there. Um, you are going to come out of that interview feeling inspired to sit and develop. Um, and the, the spirit world has asked me to uh, help the people in America to come to the United States oh, yes. in the future mm -hmm. to, to do a lecture about mediumship and um, I'm trying to figure out what and how. So if people say, Isabel, I have a place, uh, people are interested in that area, let me know because that's also where to go. It's so big and I can't be on different places yeah. at the same time. Mm -hmm. People from New York say, come to New York. People say from Los Angeles, come to Los Angeles. So if the, you have ever an organization or something to do with that, I don't want to invite myself, but it's always nice to share and to give proper information because people need proper information. They need, because there are so many circles struggling because they, they don't have proper information. Yes, and it's true. And I, was, I, I told myself, for the, all what I've been through myself, I've done everything on my own. And I said, I told Spirit, I would love to be a lighthouse for others to understand that they're not anymore on their own because I know how it has been for me. And um, okay, it's a process. It's also uh, dealing with my karma thing, I presume, but it's also to do with giving people opportunities to shake hands and work together. Because there are, in, in, there are a, lot, a lot of books, there's internet, there are books, there are video, there is card, there's so many things, but one-to-one -one learning from people, sensing the energy, be life together in one room is the most beautiful thing you can, can do. There is nothing more than that. You can, you can read books, you can do congresses, you can meet people, but you, you have to do it. You have to sit. Yes, and people say, okay, um, another question that people ask me is, do you use Ouija boards? I say sometimes it can be a tool to, it's like reading a newspaper to open up, but I would say um, it costs a lot of energy because you have to spell out all the letters. I would suggest sit and just sit without any tools. That's the purest form. Because the mind is attracted to, I have to form letters here. I have to spell out names. Now your mind is already going, I, ha I have to figure out what they're going to say. And they're not into the love of spirit. They're just wanting to have proof. And if you're sitting in a normal condition with no tools, your mind goes to your heart. And your heart goes to the spirit world. And you want just like a channel. I'm not a fan of tools because it's proven that it can help, but the best tool you have is your faith in yourself and let spirit to the world. Let spirit to the work. Beautiful. They know best. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I can feel that loving energy off of you. Absolutely. From here, from Virginia, uh, <laughs> USA to Belgium. Um, I can totally, this is why I love having you on. Um, you're, like I said, you're, you're so giving of your time and your energy. Um, so everybody, um, next Thursday, December 7th, 3 o'clock Eastern time, Isabel Duchenne will go live in the Sacred Dance with Trance with the Q&A, questions and answers on developing. Um, so make sure you're there. And everybody, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Isabel. Part two interview. And don't forget, check out part one. Awesome, awesome interview. Yes. I'm happy to be there for everybody. And um, if you can't make it, look on my website, make a link. I'm on Facebook as well. I'm happy to help you out. If you have a question, um, please ask. I'm there to help. Yes. I'm not saying that I know anything of everything, but I could say at least I can try. Yes. And um, if you're honest with yourself, spirit is honest with you. So don't think you asking wrong questions because there is no wrong question. It's the question right for you on that moment.
Yep, I love that. Absolutely. And also, take care of your bodies. That's also important. Have good enough sleep, drink enough water. And I'm not a doctor, but I would say have your vitamins checked because if you're working with mediumship, it's often seen that the body uses a lot of magnesium, vitamins B12, and all the minerals that you normally have, vitamin D, and um, check it out, have a blood test. If you feel low in, in fiber of iron or whatever, check it out. I'm not a doctor, I'm gonna stress it again. But check it out because your, your body needs all the physical support as well. Eat healthy. And before you sit, don't have a five burger with fries. Eat light, light. And, and rest. That's the more important thing. People forget to sleep. Mm -hmm. Well, I totally agree with the vitamins because I can tell you that um, when I started to develop, I could tell, you know, um, and then going to the doctor that I had to ump, amp up my vitamins or eat better with this and this and that um, because I could tell that from the day that I started to, to develop more, um, th that was something was wrong. Something was just shifting a little bit. And, uh, and then now that I started taking those vitamins and checking on those things, much better. So yes, but it also, it, it also helps, especially if you're sitting for trance, you're sitting for physical, you need a, also a healthy diet. You have to really be careful because it's a lot to do with your spleen and with your pancreas. If you're sensitive with, um, uh, diabetes stuff, if you're sensitive about that, then be careful with physical mediumship because it, it, it helps so, um, be effective to the pancreas because it, the energy is also be produced for the ectoplasm. Some people have developed diabetic after being a physical medium. It doesn't have to be, mm -hmm. but you have to talk with your guys. If you're sensitive, ask help for this. If you're sensitive for something else, some people, um, the kidneys are more drained. They feel tired after sitting. Because it's also to do with hormones, uh, with cortisol and all adrenaline and every, all the hormone systems. So please, 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 I trust, trust out. Tell your physician if he's open for it that you are a medium and that you need extra um, uh, support in your hormone system, especially we women as well. But when we have a period, it's also helping them. It's, it's all to do with balancing yourself and if your body's not careful for yourself that's why some mediums look so ill if they do a lot of physical mediumship because they don't look proper after themselves yeah. it, it does drain the body it is a, it, our physical body is not made for, for making ectoplasm it's, it's a supernatural thing and we have all energy in, in ourselves but it's very important that you understand that's why first things first. And also with healing, ask the spirit world to channel the energy for that person. Also ask permission. I always ask, I have to help my auntie tonight. Can I ask the help for the, this lady and her color name that you don't always give your own energy away. Because people always say, of course, it's always a little percentage of your own energy that you give because it comes through you, through spirit, from spirit, to spirit, it goes through you. But first of all, if you say, okay, a lot of people don't know how to deal with balancing energies and they give a lot of their own energy away, especially in healing. And afterwards they feel drained. So I always ask, spirit knows what's best. And I also ask permission. I also have respect for those who wanted to help with you because you are always dealing with somebody else and a good deal is very important well i am so grateful to you and super excited for next thursday um to have you go live in the group um thank you so very much isabel for taking your time again on your evening and sharing with us um and i think we got quite a bit of information so again thank you so much and i wish you the best evening ever yeah, that's a pleasure. And for everybody who has been watching, I wish you a big, 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 big good evening to everybody and an amazing week. Don't forget to drink 
and uh, we're heading a, towards the end of 2017. So next year going to be a very hectic year. That's what Spirit told me, with a lot of changes in the whole world. So stay in the now. Stay in the now. It's important. Stay in the now. You can make plans for tomorrow, but you cannot forget today. And it's been a joy to be with you all. And um, regarding this interview, if people have questions regarding this interview next week, um, let me know because I'm completely um, somebody with Alzheimer's regarding remembering things. You know, people ask me questions, so many questions. They say, remember me, remind me, because I, don't, I do forget. Not because intentionally, because a lot of things have been covered. That's just like me. <laughs> I can completely forget too. Yes, yeah, so it's just like, uh, I, I call it my Alzheimer light. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so it doesn't matter, but with all respect for people who have Alzheimer's, sorry for that. But I would say, um, people need to understand. Spirit comes through and gives some information and then it's gone. It's just like, boof. It comes in and goes out again. And it's just like, because I'm not in with my own mind in between, I can't Remember. record anything anymore yes okay well i again thank you so very much isabel and again everybody don't forget mark your date down december 7th 3 p.m eastern time sacred dance with trance uh face or facebook live so uh we will see you then and okay. get your questions ready for All right. okay thank All you right. isabel. thank you bye-bye bye-bye